folks, I'm in Manila and we are flying to Puerto Princesa on Cebu Pacific domestic. Let's see what it's like. Folks, we are approaching Noi Aquino International Airport, the number one airport here in the Philippines, Manila. And um, the traffic, the traffic, the Manila traffic has been very Manila ish. Now that I presume is not the terminal we're looking for. We're heading for Terminal 3. And today it's a domestic flight down to Puerto Princesa in the island of Palawan. And we are flying with the low cost carrier of the nation, as far as I know. Um, and that would be Cebu Pacific. Tested out the international offerings. Let's see what the domestic is like. We're just heading up here actually, that was where we were heading. We just had to do a big U-turn to get up here. Right. Well folks, here we are. <sighs> so I've already checked in online and apparently there's a special entrance. So apparently all this is for online check-in. No one behind the counter here, so it's left to everyone to do it themselves, and to be perfectly honest, people seem to be having a bit of trouble. Bag on the runway, now I have to scan our boarding pass. And there she goes. Bye bag. Uh, I think we go this way to so head through security. I guess we we'll just follow everyone. Cebu Pacific have an awful lot of employees. They're everywhere. I'm not sure what they're all doing. They're very busy. Though. And there's security. We'll turn off the camera. There's our flight 5J 639, folks. But um, no gate as yet. So let's see what we've got here in the domestic section. Uh, a quick and painless mostly security process so that's good. I usually uh, am in favour of getting here to the airport super early. I'm feeling less so today it's um I haven't really found anywhere that looks nice to sit down and have lunch or anything yet, so uh, hopefully I will. It's not a lot of choice for eating. There's not much happening. However, down this end at least, it's a lot quieter. So I'm going to chill out down here until it's close to flight time. I'll let you know about the flight in a sec. Okay, well here we are. Um, I'm just chilling. This is all I've got to chill is just metal seats. What are you gonna do? 
Um, let me tell you a little bit about today's flight. Um, I believe it's about an hour. I would say it's just over an hour. You know, they're, they're, um, they're quoting an hour 25. Uh, so usually it's not quite as long as what they quote, but you never know, do you? Um, the cost was, well, for a return was, I think, around 6,700 pesos. That's about uh, 190 Australian dollars and about 120 USD, and that's return. So, uh, you know, $60 US for a one-way flight, including check baggage and seat selection, because um, I add those things on, that's all included in what I paid so that's uh, that's pretty gosh darn cheap I think we're probably going to be on an A320 uh, because I believe most of Cebu Pacific's fleet are A330s and A320s so we'll see how that goes and we'll see how busy the flight is uh, but pretty much it feels like this entire part of the airport this whole domestic section of Terminal 3 is basically all for Cebu Pacific Anyway, um, I had a hot dog from 7-Eleven, that was my lunch, and uh, there's not much else to say. Uh, see you around for boarding, I guess. Just under an hour to go, we're here at the gate, it's just as crazy, this is in a completely different section that I didn't, that I walked past before, it's all a bit crazy, but uh, we're definitely getting bus to the plane, that's not a surprise. Hey, hey, hey. This is one full flight, folks, uh, I'm pretty sure of. So the line, I'm the last in line at the moment. There's all the way up there, around, and then back up again, under the buses. And they must have bought it half the flight, it's wow. but there's just a few drops of rain. Clouds actually don't look that bad. This guy here is, is issuing people with umbrellas. Because look, they didn't actually roll out the roof. So folks, I wanted the full Cebu Pacific experience and I got it. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a full flight. Um, if there are any spare seats, it's only because of no-shows. Um, we're pretty much boarded. I think we've got, I don't know, this is an A321. CEO. I don't know what that means. I haven't heard of CEO before. It just shows you I'm not a total av geek yet. We've got a lot of people on. Three toilets between everyone here and um, we're in a 3-3 config all the way down the back. And um, we're heading down to a place called uh, Porto Princesa, which is the main city on the island of Palawan. And um, they've confirmed the flight time is about an hour. <sighs> We're just sitting here on the tarmac uh, waiting, I guess, to move on so we can get into the queue to take off. It is sweltering in the plane. It was, it's seriously, 
I think maybe there's a little bit more air coming out now, but boy, like two minutes ago. Whoa. Um, maybe now's a good time to show you leg room situation. Again, I am not tall. Um, so it's pretty tight, right? Small little table. <laughs> And as with the previous flight, the chairs do not recline at all, which is a good and bad thing. Just done, they've just done their snack service from the Fun Cafe and I've got a barbecue chicken roll. About two US dollars. Let's see what it's like. It's all right. It's not bad. 120 peso. What are you going to do? So they're running some sort of competition here. They're giving a prize to someone who has the Go Rewards app on their phone. Congratulations to our first winner. Now to our second prize. Okay. What does SLR stands for? I'm going to say single lens reflex, as in again at the, the camera. Congratulations, the correct answer is sorry, late reply. That includes our fun games, thank you for joining. Sorry, for later. And enjoy the rest of the no week. idea what, what he said. You win. Should you know what these acronyms are? A Cebu Pacific pencil case. Folks, we have landed Porto Princesa, the main city on the island of Palawan, one of the, if not the, uh, in terms of main islands of the Philippines, southernmost. Uh, we're actually not that far from Borneo here, uh, and um, weather seems similar to Manila. We've uh, managed to land just before the sun went down, or just as the sun went down, so that's nice. Um, 
I guess we'll proceed to grab bags and I'll wrap this up from the hotel. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Welcome to Porto Princesa Airport. Welcome Iron Man 70.3 I don't think that's me Thank you very much for joining on this one. Uh, what can we say about Cebu Pacific? Uh, that was a bit more of the kind of thing I was expecting with Cebu Pacific, uh, as opposed to the first, the international flight I took, and there's a review online for that, and you should check that out if you haven't already. Um, Sydney to Manila. Uh, their slogan is, let's fly every one, J-U-A-N. Um, which is a direct copy from Air Asia's Now Everyone Can Fly, I think. Uh, and certainly with fares as low as 60 US dollars one way, uh, probably less if you, had, if you didn't have baggage, the price is hard to beat. Um, and look, the, the staff are friendly and personable and the cabin was clean. Uh, we left a little bit late, but not particularly late. I think we got in pretty much on time. All in all, it wasn't a bad flight. It's a little bit squashy there, but um, I still had enough room. If you are headed to the Philippines and you want to fly around the Philippines, Cebu Pacific are definitely a very cost-effective way of doing it. I've got four flights on this trip, including the return to Manila and then on to Singapore on Cebu Pacific. And the main reason I'm using them this time is because I had about a thousand dollars in a travel fund for an aborted trip back in 2020 when COVID came calling. So uh, otherwise I probably might have tried Philippine Airlines or something like that just uh, just so I had a different airline to review for you. But all good reviews must come to an end and so must this one. Uh, but basically it is what it is. It's really, really cheap. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel to help it to grow. Thank you so much for joining me today. Wherever you are in the world, take care. May the journey never end.